Hello! In this video, you will learn how to use the My Maps feature in the European Atlas of the Seas. This will allow you to create your own working space in the Atlas. When would you like to do this? Maybe you're preparing a presentation on the ocean, seas and coast, or maybe you are a teacher and you are preparing an exercise for your students. Let's get started! First, Let's open the European Atlas of the Seas at www.europeanatlasoftheseas.eu When you open the atlas, you will first see a search window and you will see that the My Maps tool that we will be using is available in the search window. You will also see that you can change the language as you may know, the European Atlas of the Seas is available in 24 languages. In this video, we will be working in English, but you can change the language to any of the 24 EU languages. The objective with this tool is to be able to create your own map, save your map, and include some details or some questions about the map. For this, we have to activate the save feature. For this, go to the menu and click on advanced feature. And you can activate the save map feature by bringing the icon to the right. Once you have done this, you will see that a disk appears on the right side of the screen. You will also see that you need to log in. Why? Because this is your working space. So it will include your work and only you will have access to your work. So while the Atlas is open access and you do not usually need a password to access information in the Atlas, to access the My Maps section, you do have to have an EU login. If you do not have an EU login, you can click on Sign in EU Login and follow the instruction to get an EU Login. Once you have the EU Login, you can enter using your password. You can see that you are in the My Map section because you see the email address. Of course, once you have logged in, it will be your email address. We are now ready to start creating our own map. To do this, we will go to the Layers icon. If we do not want to use the Countries Map layer, we can delete it from our map. To do this, click on the icon for settings and remove the map layer using the delete layer. We now only have the base map. And we want to have a map about rivers. So we will look for a layer that includes information on rivers. We also want to see the sea names, so we will add another layer with the sea names. You can search for map layers either by typing in the topic as we have just done now, or by going under layers and going through the list of the drop down menu. You will see that by each side of the title of map layer, you have an information icon. When you click on this icon, you have further information about that map layer. We will now add the map layer C names. We now have two map layers in the map but we would also like to know what is 
the river water flow on these rivers. So we will try to see if there is any map layer that will give us this information. When we go down the list, we will see that there is a category for oceanographic instruments. And in this category, we have a map layer on river gurgling stations. After reading the description, we decide to include this map layer as well. We now have three map layers in our map. Of course, we want to see the legend of the map so we can access the legend. And now we are ready to save our map by clicking on the disk. We will give a title to the map rivers and seas. And we can include a few questions that we would like to ask students. For example, what is the closest river to where you live? What is the river waterfall? For this river. So the objective is that the students will zoom in to the map to find the closest river, find a station and read the information from this station. So we can save our map and we have confirmation that our map is saved. As I was mentioning, you can zoom in, and if you zoom in, you will see the names of the river. You can also click on a station, and on a river. When you click on a station, you will see that you get access to platform data. If you click on this, another page will open, which will give you a graph on river water flow. So students can read the information on the graph. So now that we have saved our new map, let's see if there are other maps that were already saved. We can close this map and go back to My Maps tool. First, we will check that indeed we have a new map that is saved called River and Seas. But we see that we have also saved other maps. And we have saved other maps also in different languages. Let's look at this one, the rule of oceanographic instruments. If you click on more info, you will see that we have information about the map that has been created. And again, a few questions that can be asked to students about this map. We could, of course, do this map. And we can see now that the map that was saved includes three map layers on different instruments. And we can also edit the map. So we can, for example, add questions or add comments about this map. Then we will clear this map and we will go back to the one that we have to get to together the river and seas. If you decide that you do not want to keep this map, you can delete the map or again you can update it by adding some questions or adding some comments. And of course you can upload maps. You can go from one map to the other using next and previous.
If you have any questions about how you can use this new tool, My Maps, you can also access Do You Need Help from the menu. If you click on Do You Need Help, you will see the different topics on which you can get help. And under Create and Manage Your Own Map, you will get a step-by-step -step description of how you can work with this tool. If you have any questions, you can also directly contact the Atlas team by clicking on Give Feedback. Here you can type in your questions or your comments. In summary, you can use the My Maps tool to create your own maps by combining different map layers. You can save the maps for later and you can add a title to your map, some comments and some questions. You can close the map you have created and come back to it later to update the map by adding map layers or removing map layers. And you can edit the map by adding questions or comments. If you have any questions, you can use the Do You Need Help section in the menu, or you can contact the Atlas team by completing the online form under Give Feedback. In addition to your questions and your comments, we are also very happy to hear your suggestions. If you have created very interesting exercises, we want to know about it. Do contact us by completing the online form. We hope you have enjoyed this video and we hope the Mama Sue will be very helpful in your work.